And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. And yes, Powell raised rates 25 basis points yesterday. And pretty much the meme of the day was uh, Jerome Powell sitting on the moon in his lawn chair because he thinks he got us a safe landing. And I'm not even going to bother showing you that. But uh, we're going to get into some Bitcoin price action, what to expect, kind of more of the same and some of the underlying market market dynamics and then also to note you know christine lagarde did another 25 basis points as well and then we had gdp come out today i might just log in there and peek in uh looks like dixie is actually popping up here today so putting some pressure on the risk assets but stocks are still headed higher jobless claims came in durable goods uh trade balance GDP came in at 2.4% higher than expected. And the main takeaway from Powell's speech yesterday was, look, hey, we don't think there's going to be a recession again. And I don't know if you guys remember uh, the Dow Jones in 2008 when it fell from 14,000 to 6,500. You probably don't want to relive that one, but uh, that was the great financial crisis. And what did the Powell, or what did, uh, what did the Powell do? What did the Fed do? right before six months before the great financial crisis they came out and said oh i don't think we're gonna have a recession and um so i i, I wonder if it, inflation's just transitory right right um so something something seems a little bit off there and the good thing about bitcoin is it's going to do its job either way provide as a hedge against all other assets you remember bitcoin fixes everything that is the meme uh or not not a meme that's that's the truth so at the end of the day we want to take a look at uh daily time frame and i guess i'll follow up from where we where were we at yesterday i don't quite remember um exactly where we we're at yesterday but i can easily tell you that was the bottom side of the range as soon as we closed below there well uh pretty much targeting a move uh to the 1618 fib which we tagged that perfectly, came back, and uh, this is not what when, this is not what you want to see if you're bullish right now. Uh, we have been talking about a little bit of a deeper target at 27.5 for a bounce. Um, how do we know this is going to get hit, or if we are still potentially going to play out a bounce, which we can very easily? I mean, Nasdaq started up the day 200 points. I know Meta just reported some really positive earnings and I imagine everybody is going to be doing a little bit more of the same there. So Powell definitely uh, came out dovish yesterday and momentum will flip black back up above 29,187. Um, what else do I want to take a look and kind of denote the immediate continuation? The two day is lifting off here. It's got another five hours to closure. So could we tap the uh, 28,259 area today? Well, I think Dixie will give us the answer there. And um, that's what I will bring up at the moment. And putting in a nice girthy two day, um, that won't be a two day, but that'll be a daily. So you'll, if we close anywhere here or higher, you know, or just above the prior low, then you know, things are probably going to heat up for Dixie and we might be coming back up to test this trend line right at the purple 200 coming in at 103.69. However, uh, you know, not going to call it yet. Uh, not going to call it yet. Where would I start to say warning sign is on the daily here? Yeah. Back above the green 55. I think we said that yesterday at 102. Uh, but other than that, pressure is still on to the downside on the daily and momentum is up above 126 today. So if we close anywhere here or higher and volatility is declining, so you won't expect as great of a move unless this starts to uh, regain momentum to the upside. So all eyes on the dollar here. I wonder what is flaring up and bullish for the dollar here today because apparently this is all bullish green for the dollar and a little bit of red, just a little bit of red. So anyways, uh, the week is upon us. Let's take a look at um, weekly closure for Bitcoin here on the CMEs. 
and still dancing around the green 55 and as long as we're you know playing out that trend higher highs and higher lows on the weekly uh, sorry even on the daily time frame it's going to look good for some continuation again we start to lose that pivot at 27.5 that'll be first warning sign of trouble other than that guys i think i'm going to leave us off with a quick one today uh bitcoin still doing more of the same and um basically looking for 27.5 if that move were to invalidate where would it get invalidated back above this guy right here any kind of a daily back about th about 38,800 so I don't know how helpful that is I hope you guys all have a blessed and highly favored day and I'll be back tomorrow take care